Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight, decided to do another reaction video, and unlike one of the ones that I've done in the past, in fact, the only one that's on my channel currently, the video won't be in the bottom right. It's actually going to be in a link in the description so you can watch the original video for yourself if you so choose. Nicole Arbor. Taking a little bit of a risk going into this one, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, like, proclaim that I'm doing a reaction video. Attention grab much? Yeah, one, 100%. No lie. No scam there. And I'm just going to make a reaction, and whatever she says, she says. Um, the first exposure I had to her was her Dear Fat People video. I honestly wasn't incredibly offended by it. Um, my first thought is, you know, you go online, you watch something incredibly offensive, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, that sucks. And then you, you know, you just, you move on with your life. You generally don't like it or dislike it. And honestly, it's not like I can really, you know, be offended by content like that. Because it doesn't apply to me. I do remember the video I also watched of hers where she said, I'm the second coming of Jesus. And then some of the stuff she said in that video, that was much more offensive to me as a Christian. So I was like, okay, that, that was bad. This, this sucks. Again, didn't leave a comment or anything, just got over it. I saw the newest video, Dear Religious People, and I'm like, okay, another chance to get offended. I have a great idea. Let's make a reaction video to this and actually like just kind of dig deep. And let's just go out there, and I'll even make some sarcastic comment on her YouTube channel, which I have done under Jesus Freaking Gamer. It's not two Gs, just one G. So here I am, possibly being offensive myself, and... I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to go out there and take a risk and hop on a controversial channel and make a reaction to video to one of her videos and see if I can't, you know, point out some flawed logic or possibly make fun of her for whoever she's making fun of, which would probably be me since I'm a religious person. And instead, I got a video where the first point made, the main point, I completely agree with. Um... That, you know, what happened in Orlando, that wasn't done by every Muslim. It wasn't done by every, um, by every person who worships Allah. It was done by one person, one crazy person. And I completely agree with that. That is incredibly and totally true. I couldn't back that statement up more. Um, I, know, I am aware that some Muslim nations, they support Sharia law which is essentially all the bad stuff. And there are some, na not just some individuals, but some nations that back that up. And I'm against that. And I'm guessing most of you who will watch this video are against that as well. And I'm glad that she actually said that. That I was like, wow. And so my immediate attitude towards the entire video changed. I'm like, this isn't going to be, with that said, this isn't going to be nearly as bad as I thought it was. And then there were a few points that I honestly thought we're funny about how new Mormonism is and how they're just kind of they're just kind of messed up and I was like honestly that's funny and there's a pretty strong degree of truth in that as well when you look into what Mormonism does believe they definitely aren't online with orthodox Christianity and there's a lot I disagree with them at and in some future videos when I go into religions specifically after having done a bit more study on them, I've done like a cursory study on a lot of religions. don't have anything collegiate to speak of like she does, even though I didn't go to religion, it was for, I went to college for religion, it was for my religion, Christianity. Didn't really have any anti-other religion classes. So once I study up on that and do something not just brief highlights, but actually something more specific, I can go into more details on that later. And the part about the Amish boarding an airplane I also thought was funny. I, I also thought, and maybe I'm wrong, I thought that they were against new technology and new ways. I thought that they basically just stuck to themselves and to their own communities. That's why you don't have the Amish sect of Christianity incredibly famous and popular because they kind of chose to stick to themselves because of what I thought was a bias against technology which obviously, being on YouTube, I have no bias personally against. So I chuckled at that point as well. The only point I really disagree with her on is how all the religions are fake. They're all fairy tales and none are better than the others. Since I've chosen Christianity, obviously I disagree with that. And anyone who would say they are a Christian, and yet they would also say Jesus isn't the only way, I would say, as politely as possible, 
you, sir or madam, are not a Christian. Christians believe that Jesus Christ is God, not something else. If you're a Christian, you probably believe the Bible is the Word of God. And yes, there are some very messed up things written in it, which I've covered in a lot of my videos over the past, what, two and a half months? A little over that I've been on YouTube. So I actually got right into it in the book of Joshua and Judges in the middle of a bunch of killing and genocide and rape. And I comment on that on several of my videos on my channel. <laughs> I haven't done a sermon exclusively on genocide yet. I will get to that at some point in the future as I keep making videos, God willing. I am totally all for the tolerance you spoke of. Kind of like in Disneyland where everyone has their own faith or has their own fairy tale and they all kind of walk amongst all the other ones. Again, I don't agree with that. I believe Christianity is right, but tolerating other religions to the point of having open-minded discussions with them and possibly even admitting that you're wrong on a few points, that I'm all for. Like some Christians I've spoken with and that I've read about online who are like, you know, we need to kill all Muslims in the world. And I don't agree with that at all. I don't believe that's the answer at all. I believe that they are simply wrong like every other faith in the world that is not Christian. <laughs> yes, I'm that evangelical type of Christian. I'm the guy. Um, now, I try not to pass judgment on everyone. Another point in her video that I actually chuckled on, where she's like, Christians that are so judgy and it's like, I'm better than you, just shut up. I would <laughs> tend to agree with that as well. So, I do believe I'm correct. I believe I found the right God. I don't believe I'm better than anyone else. I'm a sinner just like anyone else. Essentially, I am a beggar who found bread. It wants to share that bread with other people. I found the living bread, whose name is Jesus Christ. I won't go into a full sermon in this particular video. I've done that with several of my other videos, which you can find on my channel. Like, I get, I was like, I get, I'm like, I'm not leaving a link to every single sermon I've done because I do a quick one every single day. I try to keep it short and brief, and sometimes I fail, sometimes I succeed in that. Not great at timing just yet. Still new on YouTube, still new to the whole learning thing. But overall, that video, especially the main first point she made, I like. Nicole Arbor, you don't have a sub, but you do have one like for this video. I will leave that like um, now, and I will also edit my comment saying that basically, it was a blatant attempt to get views. I won't, t I won't delete my comment, and I won't take that comment back. Um, it was just that. <laughs> Maybe I need to repent now. But it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I wasn't really offended at all. That one video, that offended me. This video didn't offend me at all. Um, so yeah, there's my reaction. And I'll monetize this reaction because I didn't steal any of her content. I didn't put anything in the corner below. So for anyone who happened to uh, stumble across this video and actually followed that blatant attempt at grabs and you followed it and watched this video, thank you very much for watching this video. And for anyone who watched it just because they follow my channel, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it because it's a blatant attempt at grabbing views and you don't like that kind of behavior and reaction videos are just kind of crappy in general, or maybe my face just isn't quite situated right where you want it, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it for whatever reason, Share this video with a friend, subscribe, and join the freaks! I love you, even if you don't love me back, and God bless.